Some of the oldest people alive drink a glass of wine a day or eat two strips of bacon every morning, which doesn't sound half bad, but how can we really live longer? <laughs> Hey everyone, Julia here for D News. While genes are a big factor into living longer, genetics only make up about 30% of the story. The rest seems up to us. Life expectancy at birth in the US has been rising for all groups at rates of about 0.6 years a year. People born in the last five years could reasonably expect to live well into their late 70s or even early 80s. At this rate, it seems like we could live until 100 soon. Well, not quite yet. Most researchers thought that living longer meant more time doing what you love. The assumption just went without saying. However, However, recent research showed otherwise. Scientists at the University of Massachusetts Medical School extended the life of roundworm by playing with four different mechanisms. But no matter what mutations they had, the worms all lived longer, but they spent a greater percentage of their life in a frail state. It's a bummer, dude. As we extend our lifespans with modern medicine, age-related diseases like Alzheimer's and certain cancers are on the rise. We seem to be extending the amount of time we spend in suffering. To spend more time healthy, that's going to take some heavy scientific lifting. Researchers from UCLA showed that by turning on a single gene, they could extend life by 30%. AMP-activated protein kinase helps get rid of cellular garbage by promoting autophagy, or destroying sick or damaged cells. The story goes that over time, our cells get damaged as we age, and it's the buildup of these damaged cells that lead to age-related illnesses. The enzyme helps the body clean up all of these damaged cells. The researchers found that flies who had this gene activated lived up to 30% longer and were healthier during their later days. And note that I said flies! This hasn't been proven yet in mammals. Another way to boost your lifespan? Caloric restriction. For some reason, rats who are fed shockingly low number of calories live up to 40% longer than their well-fed peers. Scientists think a lack of glucose is responsible. Glucose occasionally binds to some of our DNA, proteins, and lipids and stops them from doing their job causing some diseases. A restricted diet might prevent some of this process. But there's no evidence this works in humans, and it's not recommended for kind of obvious reasons. Rather than starving yourself, could you pop a pill? One FDA-approved drug, rapamycin, already extends the lifespan and health span in mice by 30%, but unfortunately it's designed as an immunosuppressant. Knocking out your immune system could be a pretty heavy price to pay for a chance at a longer life, yet recent research is working on blocking the immunosuppressant qualities. And you can't talk about immortality without talking about telomeres. Telomeres are like the plastic tips on your shoelaces, but for your DNA. Every time DNA makes a copy of itself, the telomeres get shorter. If they weren't there at all, your DNA would fray like a shoelace and cause age-related illnesses. So what would happen if we could stop telomere shortening? Like most of these other possibilities, it only seems to extend lifespan 10 to 30 years, which is not forever, but hey, I'll take it. Geneticist Richard Cawthon thinks if we could get rid of all aging processes and repair cellular damage, humans could live up to a thousand years. But the question is, would you want to? What do you think? Let us know in the comments and keep coming back here for more D-News every day of the week.